Taking some rules for a 40 by 40 building that's going up. In addition on to this one, this existing building. And uh, we're going to show you how the Badger post hole cleaner tool works. Uh, we've developed this to help clean the crumbs out the bottom of the hole after you get done digging. Uh, this soil here is a little bit wet, uh, not too bad. Mostly clay, some rocks mixed in, a um, little black dirt on top. So uh, we're going to show you here uh, what you end up with. You get as much as you can out. There's always some crumbs left. So we're going to finish digging these. We're going to hook up the Badger. And uh, we're going to show you how to get a good clean bottom uh, to help you get the best base for your building. So here we've dug all these holes. We've got the normal amount of crumbs down in there after you auger. We're coming back with our tool called the Badger. We've been using this for several years on our own job sites, and now we've brought it to market. And uh, we think it can make your life easy. So what he's doing, he's going to go down to the hole give it a few rotations and that thing will fill the bucket up we've also got these arms now this is a new attachment that we're pretty excited about they're adjustable up and down the shaft and they help control your hole depth as well as cleaning all the debris from the top of the hole so based on your grade you can move the arms up and down Give them a few rotations, and everything is nice and clean. Let's take a look at this hole and see how it looks. Looks like he needs to go one more time, but he's starting to get down to a good flat base. can easily be tamped and then you can pour your footing this is going to save you a lot of time on your job site not have a guy come back with hand jabbers and tear up his shoulders this hole was pretty crumbly he's going to go again there's a pretty good sized rock down there if you can see it and uh, he's going to get that right out too is you can stick that down in one more time and go one revolution backwards and uh, that'll really smooth your hole out and actually help to compact the soil as well we're out here today we've dug these holes we're cleaning them and uh, we are testing our new attachment for our badger post hole cleaner uh, we were thinking the flying badger but now we're kind of thinking the badger claws so we'll let you guys help us decide here on Facebook and uh, what we ran into is uh, our arms didn't have enough adjustment. They couldn't go high enough to clean these holes just on this corner due to the grade of our building site. So what we did was we folded the arms down into the transport position and uh, we cleaned these holes still, which is how we always used to do it in the past. Unfortunately, now we've got to use a shovel to clean this big mound of dirt that the auger digs up. So we're gonna we're going to show you here on one of these lower holes how nice these arms work to uh, clean the top of the hole so you don't have to do it with a shovel. So uh, I guess I'll get to work and, and clean this hole and we'll do a little R&D and make a, make a little more adjustment. But uh, I think you guys will be really happy with this if you bought a Badger. Um, if you've noticed, the newer shafts have these holes in them. That's what we're doing with it. So we're going to perfect this and uh, have these on the market soon. They help control hole depth, save you concrete, and they save you work at the top of the hole. Check them out, onecleanhole.com, Facebook, YouTube, and uh, we'll have some new videos and photos up soon.